I did not know, like, when you're a wrestler, you have to make a choice. Why? Why do you have to make that choice? What do wrestlers do that others may need you to make a choice? How's it going, folks? I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country, as always. I actually have thought about changing the name to Keepin' to Country uh, because I've heard from a couple folks the rock part, the rock in the country is uh, sometimes confusing because when they first saw the channel name, they thought, oh, it's rock and country or something like that. Instead of like, it depicts my foray into traditional country music. I started out as a rock guy for the first bunch of decades of my life and I got into country later. And that's where it's like rock into country. That was my thing, but also rock in the country. And uh, double entendre thing, but I'm thinking of changing it to keep into country. But I don't know, it's been five years and I'm kind of used to rocking the country. I'm guessing most of you folks are too. But I am doing a reaction to Ned Ledoux's song, Johnson County War. I don't think I know this song. And, uh, and it was requested by Greg Von Hain. So, Greg, I think that's how you would say it. The O E generally is pronounced as a long A in English. So, Hain or Haney, I'm going to guess it's Hain, like Koenig, K-O-E-N-I-G, is uh, most people would look at it and say, oh, it's Koenig or something, but it's actually pronounced Koenig. So I hope I'm doing you justice with your name, my friend. But Greg requested this song, so here we go. Dramatic. I wish you had headphones on like I do. Drama. Headed for Wyoming in 1882. A woman, a team, and a wagon gonna make our dreams come true. Settled in the foothills of the Bighorn Mountain slopes. Life was sweet, we lived on the meat of the deer and the antelope. We cut house logs up on the mountain. With the team, we hauled them down. Build them and we stacked them up, clouds and bottom ground. Traded for some cattle, turned them out on the open range. The skies were blue, uh -oh. but we never knew no. how things were going to change. Oh, Powder River, you're muddy and you're wide. How many men have died along your shore? When you brand a man a rustler, he's got to take a side. No middle ground in this Johnson. When you brand a man a rustler, he's got to pick a side. All right, I'm going to need to know what a rustler is then. Oh, yeah. On well, a neighbor stopped by yesterday while I was outside chopping wood. He fill me in on the wow. local news. There ain't none of it that sounded good. So the bench and cattle stealing. It's a no-count outlaw band. We've all been branded rustlers oh. by the big ranchers of this land. So it was us against the cattlemen, and the years just made it worse. First the drought, and then the tough winter Johnson County been dealt a curse. Then there came the story about the two dry gulch attacks. Ranger Jones and John Tisdale both shot in the back. Old Powder River. You're muddy and you're white. How many men have died along your shore? When you brand a man a rustler, he's got to take a side. There's no middle ground in this job. It's got to be a true war. story, I'm guessing. This is history. And then last night at supper time, well, a rider stopped by a chance. Said the cattlemen, their hired guns just burned the KC Ranch. Two men had died. 
out this morning Shot down in the snow And now the vigilante army Was on the march to Buffalo Well the county was in an uproar And every man saddled up to ride They caught the cattlemen at the T.A. Ranch And surrounded all four sides They held the house with bullets And swore they were gonna pay Then the cavalry came across the plains Once again they saved the day Well, they marched them off to Cheyenne No one went to jail The cattlemen were all turned loose And their hired guns hit the trail And I guess the only justice Wasn't much, to say the least Last winter, me and mine ate mighty fine you know On the cattle baron's beef Old Powder River You're muddy and you're wild How many men have died along your shore? When you brand a man a rustler, he's gotta take a side. There's no middle ground in this Johnson County war. There's no middle ground in this Johnson County war. Good pick of him. I get the sense that that was just an account of history, that that was a true story. I don't know how much was embellished. I don't even know if it was a true story. I just get the sense that when you hear songs like this, they, uh, they're they just a history lesson. Yeah, I mean, you can learn a lot listening to songs. I mean, you get some understanding of certain cultures. Like, I know you guys will leave this. Some of you folks, some folks are out in Wyoming. Some of you guys are ranchers. You've left comments. Uh, sporadically on the channel here and there, but I've taken note of it that some of you folks uh, do this. I don't know what a rustler is when that I did not know. Like when you're a rustler, you have to make a choice. Why? Why do you have to make that choice? What do rustlers do that others may, need you to make a choice so they know who or what you are and how you're going to act so they know how they have to correspondingly react? Uh, it's fascinating stuff. Greg, yeah, Von Hain, I'm going to say that. What inspired this request? Because you know I've done Chris Ledoux on the channel, and I actually did one of Ned's or two of Ned's uh, in the past couple of years. And I love that he's the protege, obviously the offspring of Chris Ledoux. And uh, I just love Legacy Lives On. And this is the Western style, of course, same as his dad. And it was really good. So. All right, I'm going to rate this. It was a pretty, in some ways, a simple story. I wish there had been more detail so I could understand more. That doesn't mean it wasn't poorly written. It just means I don't know that lifestyle and I'm learning more about it. All right, so the number that popped into my head, because it kept moving along, I was intrigued by it, of course, was an 8.5. And the Western style, I just love what it brings to the table. It's very different. It gets your heart go heart rate going. It gets the whole thing sort of pumping a bit. And I always wonder, too, just it's always been in me to wonder, like, why do people mess with each other so much? Like, why do people have to shoot one another over whatever? But when it came down to it, the cavalry ran the cattlemen off. But these guys ate, they, uh, I guess they didn't take the cattle with them because these guys ate well on their cattle, on their beef, he said. So there it goes. Okay, folks, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave your comments as always. Thanks for playing along. I'll see you in another video and keep rocking the country.